In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Dear friends in Christ, welcome to Daily Meditation on TV Veritas. Today is the 21st of November, 2018, Wednesday. We celebrate the presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Holy, Holy Mother, who gave birth to the King, who rules heaven and earth forever. Today, dear friends in Christ, let us listen to what the imitation of Christ says before we present this meditation. Chapter 3 of The Imitation of Christ, written by Thomas Akempis, talks of the peaceful person. You are always ready to and able to excuse yourself as a peaceful person, putting the best possible construction on your own action. But you refuse to listen to the to excuses of others, that is, those who do not make peace. The charitable way is to excuse yourself and to excuse your neighbor. If you want others to bear with you, then you must bear with them. Look at yourself and see how far you are from real charity and humility, which cannot be resentful against anyone but you oneself. It is no test of virtue to be on good terms with easy-going people, for they are always well liked. And of course, all of you, all of us want to live in peace and prefer those who agree with us. No, let us pray that we may be truly peaceful people by accepting everyone. Today, before we hear God's words, let us seek God's forgiveness. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, worship you before the Blessed Sacrament to inspire us to meditate your word through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Today's readings are taken from Apocalypse chapter 4, verse 1 to 11, and Luke's Gospel chapter 19, verse 11 to 28, and Father Christopher Gekum. While the people were listening, Jesus went on to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem and they imagined that the kingdom of God was going to show itself then and there. Accordingly, he said, a man of noble birth went to a distant country to be appointed king and afterward returned. He summoned ten of his servants and gave them ten pounds. Do business with these, he said, until I get back. But his compatriot detested him and sent a delegation to follow him with his message. We do not want this man to be our king. Now on his return, having received his appointment as king, he sent to those servants to whom he had given the money to find out what profit each had made. The first came in and said, Sir, you had one pound, brought ten. Well done, my good servant, he replied. Since you have proved yourself faithful in very small things, you will have the whole the government of ten cities. Then came the second and said, So one pound has made five. To this one he said, And you shall be in charge of five cities. Next came the other and said, Sir, 
here is your pound. I put it away safely in a piece of linen because I was afraid of you. For you are an exacting man. You pick up what you have not put down and reap what you have not sown. You wicked servant, he said, out of your own mouth I will condemn you. So you knew I was an exacting man, picking up what I have not put down and reaping what I have not sown. Then why did you not put my money in the bank? On my return I could have draw, drawn it out with interest. And he said to those standing by, Take the pound from him and give it to the man with ten. And they said to him, But sir, he has ten pounds. I tell you to everyone who has will be given more. But from the man who has not, even what he has be taken away. But as for my enemies, who did not want me for their king, bring them here and execute them in my presence. When he had said this, he went on his way ahead, going up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. We are living in this life, and we should know that God has given us talents. Anyone who does not want to multiply his or her talents should immediately go put the talents where God can reap a profit. Because if you leave this world, when the time of harvest comes and the master comes to you to see how much your talents are produced, it will be terrible for you. Let us beg God to make us true instruments of his wonderful purpose. Let us beg God to conform to the will of the Father. Let us beg God to give us the wisdom to try to work hard the talents that God has given us. Because when he will come for his harvest and you are not ready, there will be weeping and grinding of teeth. We thank God for this lesson and we pray that the wicked servants who are lazing about should not go against God. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, Father in heaven, bless and keep us safe. We worship you. We adore you. Lead us to eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God in heaven bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.